good. This my little guy. Oh, wait, how do I get him out? What do I do? Do I have to like open this now? Oh, here he comes. So today I want to genetically engineer the perfect Indoraptor. And I've got Evo here to help me. He's a little bit quiet today, so don't expect him to say much. But uh, yeah, he's just got little sin on his head. A sleeping. Ah, oh, he's asleep on the job. Dude, man, come on. You gotta wake up, bro. <laughs> anyway, so in the last episode, we got this amazing Indoraptor, which doesn't look like the classic look, but supposedly that makes sense. I guess this is what the females would have looked like in the movies if they hadn't included it or something. I don't know. The males look like the normal ones, which I'm hoping to get out of an egg today because... Well, we gotta do some work to get to that point. We, we gotta essentially collect DNA and do all this crazy stuff to create our own egg, and uh, we, we're gonna need that out. I was actually hoping to just quickly open that up. I wanna build like a little laboratory area here, just cause there's so many little stations you'll see here. Um, yeah, we've got like, I mean, four big enough stations. I mean, this one looks pretty big for sure. Uh, yeah, all this stuff, we're gonna need a spot for it, and I figured that, like, a little spot over here with some tech might be a good idea, so let me quickly go ahead and whip this up. But, um, yeah, so there's also a, a bunch of stuff that I actually missed with the Indoraptor as well, and there's probably some stuff that's been fixed at this point as well, so we're probably gonna go over a, a bunch of that. Uh, that's good enough. Um, I have it four wide, and then I wanna put triangles on the edges, so let me see. Go ahead and just pick up these two. I thought I picked that up. Okay, there we go. Sweet. So, let me see. I want to go back by three. I might be able to move it back by one. Yeah, let's go ahead and take away this first layer. Actually, wait, no. I have it coming out by four. So, it's four by four. And then, I've got some triangles for the edges. Just, like, nothing insane right now. I mean, like, maybe we'll build something cooler eventually. But this works for the moment. Just something a little bit fancy in terms of shape. But... Not, not really that fancy, to be honest. And for the front, we've just got some little ramps and some railings for there and there. And that's all I wanted to do for the moment. I'll probably maybe, like, put some walls or something in here. Or maybe just some railings around. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, for the moment, I don't want to place everything down in a specific spot. So let's just pop that down here. And we got to work on trying to make up some of this stuff. Also, we're going to need some of these uh, power cells in here as well. So I'm not sure how many we're going to need. So I'm just... I'm just gonna craft 20. They're not really too bad. I mean, like, uh, oh, wait, how come I can't craft that? All right, I'm not gonna bore you guys with me trying to figure out that I needed gasoline for this. I missed it right there. <laughs> All right, well, there we go. Anyway, yeah, so uh, we can go ahead and craft up a bunch of these power cells, which are needed, um, of course, to actually power all of this stuff. So we have 20 of those. Oh, wow, okay, we don't need 20 because it's giving me 15 per, unless I, I don't know how much it's gonna take realistically to uh to actually power these things i i assume it's just gonna take one every so often kind of like gasoline i don't know we'll see I i'll let it maybe go up to like 150 or something but yeah so we have that going anyway and then we also have uh all this other stuff that we need to make and then this i'm very excited for this we need to make one of these i've heard about something to do with this that i'm very excited to actually see so yeah, uh, you know what? That's probably good in terms of power cells. 135 is definitely enough. So let me go ahead and craft one of these. I really want this just for the base. <laughs> like this, this thing sounds amazing. That thing auto crafted. What the hell? <laughs> it was that was strange. Okay, cool. Anyway, let's go ahead and get one of those. We need all of these stations pretty much to get all of this done. All right, I think we are good. Can I hold all of this? I I wonder because those power cells are very heavy. Uh, I think I can, yeah. I should be able to. Oh, wow. Okay, I am barely able to move, but we, we do have it. Uh, what am I trying to do there? What the hell? I have no idea. I just brain farted really hard right there. All right, come here, Indoraptor. Let me just pop those onto you for the moment. Uh, so we got to lay out all this stuff. I just got to kind of figure out the um the whole process here because I, I feel like I want them in order. How big is everything? Oh, wow. This thing's really big. You know what? That over there actually could look really cool. So that's probably the last step because that's obviously how you get the egg. Let me see. DNA extractor. Let me just pop them all down and kind of figure out what I have to do first and then second and then third. So this one's probably first, right? DNA extractor. This thing looks amazing, by the way. That looks dope. Uh, so we have that and then we have the synthesizer. So and then is the sequencer last? Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. So it goes this, this, this and then the egg one. Cool. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and get this done then. Okay, so now we have all this stuff in. We also will need to do some extra legwork out in the field. Um, we're going to essentially need to kill an Indoraptor to create it. Let me show you. So it's the sequencer. 
Let me see. So to create the Indoraptor egg, we will need a fertilized ra raptor egg, which I actually do not have. I don't think we actually have tamed any raptors at all. Uh, we did, but I think they might have died. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So we're going to need to actually find a pair of raptors. I don't know if the level counts. I really doubt it would. So I think any pair of raptors could work. Uh, and then we're going to need the Indoraptor genome. And to make that, we have two ways. We can either use pure Indoraptor uh, DNA, um, which I should be able to get by killing an Indoraptor, right? I believe. And then we also have this one right here, which is Indominus and Raptor. So two ways of getting it. I think probably finding an Indoraptor is more likely, so we could probably focus on doing that instead. Uh, let me actually go ahead and just pop in. I'm just going to put maybe like... Uh, I don't know, like 25 into these. Just get those into here. And then also in here we have, we take the Petri dishes and then we turn that into the actual uh, DNA vials. Cool. So lots of different ways. We can also make an Indominus Rex, but I think maybe we'll do that another day. Okay, so supposedly, oh yes, you can. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, that's so cool. No way. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Wow. Okay, so that's obviously, you know, complete reference to the movie. That's, you know, spoilers. I'm sorry. The movie came out probably like six years ago. That's how the Indoraptor dies. It gets impaled on the, um, on the trike skull. And that is really, really cool. I love that. Maybe it doesn't really fit right here. I mean, yeah, it doesn't really suit that spot. We could probably find a different spot for it, but it definitely needs to be in the base somewhere because that is awesome looking um it's also a storage box as well wow okay cool all right sweet so anyway we've got some stuff to do uh evo come on man let's go he's ready all right cool <laughs> so we're looking for an indoraptor and um we're also looking for some raptors to tame so a couple little things to do so i think i'm just gonna look where i found one previously i mean i don't know where else they spawn so we'll just we'll take a little look over in this direction i mean i came upon one pretty quickly so i would imagine that they're not super super rare but i'm not entirely sure uh let's get all the way over here oh is that yeah that's definitely one wow okay hello Male Indoraptor, what did that say, 114? Uh, yeah, okay, cool. So, it's killable, at least. I mean, I mean, yeah, you know, even if it was a high level, maybe I would have killed it. I don't know if I would ever tame another one. Like, these things were, they're cool and all, but, like, that was not worth it, right? I mean, like, it didn't seem like it. I mean, I had to knock it out three times. Like, that was just kind of unfair. All right, we got to make sure that I don't get pounced off. I just remembered about that. Uh, all right, cool. Let's, uh... Focus to try to kill this dude. Oh, I'm going to get pounced off for sure. I just absolutely launched into his face. All right. Well, you know what? Maybe we can hunt it properly. Let's get in here. Come on, bro. Oh, is he coming for me? Yeah, he is. Uh, I, I wish I could see. Hmm. Let me see. Let me just assume that he's around here. Yeah, he's like right there. Ish. <laughs> we start shotgunning at him again. So if we kill him. Oh, there we go. Oh, wait, what? I already. Mm, that's confusing. I already had that. I mean, I, I had the capability of building that. Yeah, actually, that's something I was confused about when I opened up the bench, because, like, I still didn't have that Ingram, but I was able to craft it. So that's a little bit confusing. Huh. Yeah, not entirely sure what happened there. But all right, I mean, well, we got we got two teeth right here, which is great. Uh, What the hell? Oh, is he, got, like, bugged out? Oh, he thinks he's still alive. You loser. <laughs> Let me just quickly... Oh! Crap, that was a bad idea. We quickly killed this Cantro. I just want to check out this Indoraptor. Maybe actually we can grab a, um, a Dermis from it as well, actually. It could be kind of cool. Let's see, yeah, he thinks he's still alive, bro. You're not alive, man. You're, you're dead. We, we killed you. <laughs> Hello. Ooh, don't impale me, bro. There we go. Nice. All right, let me see. I want to grab one Dermis, please. Thank you very much. Nice. Okay, well, we got the we got the teeth, which lines up with the movie as well. Like, this this dude goes all in with all these Indoraptor uh, kind of, like, movie references. Because, obviously, in the movie, there's a scene where the dude's, like, trying to remove its tooth. And, and right here, we have removed its tooth. I don't know. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, all right. Well, we have that. We still need raptors. Um, I think, real quick, let's just drop back and actually make the Indoraptor DNA. So I want to just TP back and then also maybe can check out some raptors closer to base because this is super far. And I know that they spawn like right outside base. I've experienced them there. <laughs> okay, so let's see. So we have the Indoraptor tooth. Let's just pop one of those into there. Um, oh, does it, oh, it just automatically does it. Okay, cool. Nice. So let's just watch this whole process. Whoa. 
so it's like it, it's extracting the dna essentially i mean that's really cool <laughs> Holy crap, look at all this. You think that it would just be like a simple craft, but no, he just went all out and we've just got like this whole process. That's awesome. Oh, there we go. We've already got it. Nice. Um, is that enough? I don't know how much we're going to need. We have another tooth in case I need it. Uh, synthesizer. So we go into here next. Uh, let's turn that on. Um, what am I doing here? Oh, I need... F Whoa, okay. I'm going to need. I'm going to need to kill a couple more. Wow, okay, I didn't realize it was gonna be that expensive. Let me go ahead and drop this into here. Get another one of those going. Um, okay, cool. So we're gonna need to kill uh, a bunch of them because it gave me two teeth. So that's gonna give me 10. So I'm gonna need to kill another five Indoraptors. Bruh! <laughs> All right, I didn't know, I didn't know. I, I figured that we'd probably not have to do that much. Okay, well, you know, it's fair. I guess this is gonna take a little bit longer than I thought. So I think I'm just, I'm gonna go out and look for some more of these guys hunt them all down and then i guess later on we'll come back i don't know if they're gonna give a different amount of teeth and stuff like that so we'll see maybe it's just two all the time but either way you know what let me actually go ahead and just power that off oh did the interruptor disappear oh that's disappointing i kind of hope that it, it saves its state like that that would be much better because like you know it, it would be amazing for the guys to just come into the base and then just see a dead interruptor on there that would be fantastic all right let me actually turn this off then uh yeah just go ahead and switch that off I love the animations with it. That's dope. Also, you know what? Let me pick you up. We might need you. And finally, let me quickly just test this out over here. Oh, that looks dope. Okay, let's see. What what do we got? Wait, did he... Did X-Men seriously make normal taxidermy bases? What is wrong with you? <laughs> let's see. Uh, Yeah, pretty standard, I think. Oh, okay. Oh, that's the one I was hoping for. Oh! <gasps> It's got it! Oh, that's amazing! Yes! Okay, that that's dope. Um, yeah, that that's an actual taxidermy uh pose. I love that. <laughs> oh my god, I've seen a picture of this. Um the, the modder essentially made a bunch of like renders of his creature, and that was one of them, and I was saying, Oh, that needs to be a taxidermy pose, and now we have it. That's awesome. Alright, let me uh let me get out of here. I, I need to look for some more indoor raptors. We need to also tame up some raptors. So lots of raptor-based things. But you know what? Just because all that's quite a lot, I'll just bring you guys back once we're on the other side, because otherwise we're going to spend, like, the majority of this video trying to do all of that stuff. And I know that you guys have very precious amounts of time, and I do not want to waste it too much. Okay, so it's a little while later. I've got two raptors. I actually managed to find a 180 female, and then this one was a 156, and that's, of course, a male. I've also got a bunch of Indoraptor claws as well, and let's go ahead and just chuck these into here, turn them into these little Petri dishes, and then after that, we got to come over to here. Um, I'm hoping I only need one of these, right? I think. I mean, damn. I I'm really hoping I only actually need one vial. That would be kind of awful if I needed another one, because... Oh man, these things are, they're hard to find. They really are. I found some in the snow. I found some in the volcano area. And I mean, there are probably other places as well, but you know, like I'm just one person looking around for these relatively small creatures. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so let's go ahead and just turn that into the stuff. Uh, oh, we've got the, we got the eggs. Sweet. Let's go ahead and just turn these guys off. So we've got the egg ready. We need to put that into here, right? Yeah, that goes into here. Cool. So we've got the raptor egg now. Uh, we just need that Indoraptor genome. To make that, we have to have the pure Indoraptor DNA vial, which obviously is 55 of the uh, Petri dish. Just got to wait for this to come through. I think that's going to take just a hot minute. Okay, well, this is not working. I don't know what has happened. Uh, there was an update, so I don't know if something broke. Yeah, just gonna have to pick it up. I mean, I don't I don't know what's gone on here. Yeah, that seemed to do the trick. It's working now. Uh, I don't know what happened there. I guess it just kind of got a little bit bugged out or something. All good. Anyway, so we need uh, 55 of this, right? Let me just double check. Uh, Indoraptor. Yeah, that we need 55. So currently we have 25. We just need to wait for a little bit more. We're gonna have like five left over, which is good, just in case any of the other guys wants to genetically create one, or maybe I can do that actually we'll see but um yeah we just gotta wait for a couple more here all right let's see let me go ahead and chuck this into here um now we should be able to make this oh they all have animations oh that's dope hang on all right let's do this then boom does anything happen when we're crafting no okay it's still pretty cool though i really like this man oh, okay that's a long craft <laughs> all right let's see let's turn this one on then all right yeah They've all got like sound effects and they all have um, little animations. Is that, 
is that an Indominus or an Indoraptor? That looks like the Indominus Rex. And almost, it's inching up. Come on. Uh, hey, there we go. Nice. Cool. So we've got the pure Indoraptor DNA. We're going to combine that with the Raptor egg to create an Indoraptor egg. Please tell me it's not going to be from the parents here because that would be kind of awful oh no my bad okay hang on sorry <laughs> i got a little bit confused there we were turning the uh the indoraptor dna into a genome and then we combine to make the egg okay i got a little bit confused that i just did something wrong there for a second that kind of freaked me out all right this thing is almost crafted there we go nice now we combine it with the egg we're gonna create the indoraptor egg oh that was <laughs> okay cool i mean that's great yeah, that was uh, that was a really fast craft. Um, cool. All right, let's go ahead and turn that off. Um, all right, so I'm gonna chuck this into here. There we go. So now we just gotta wait for that to essentially um, incubate up, and then I think I have to click on it to actually get it to hatch. I think I might wait till the morning just so we have some nice light, which is obviously gonna mean waiting here for a little while because it's nine o'clock. Wow. Okay. No, oh, hang on. We gotta we gotta turn this on first. There we go, and it's actually hatchable right now. Oh, that's so cool. I love this. This is all like, I don't know, just like throws you straight into the uh, immersiveness of all of this, this whole pro process, obviously, you know, It'd be a little bit more complicated in real life, I would say just slightly. There'd probably be a couple more crafting benches, but you know, um, <laughs> it's still pretty cool. Uh, you know what, actually, let's, let's not wait for the light. Cause like, oh my God, I just want to, I want to hatch this thing. All right, let's do it. Let me go ahead and do this. I've heard that there's a cool hatching animation. So we're just we're gonna sit back and enjoy. Here we go. Oh, he's in the egg. Look at him. Oh my God. That's my little guy. Oh, wait, how do I get him out? What do I do? Do I have to like open this now? Oh, here he comes. Hello. Hello, little guy. Oh my, whoa, he just became giant there for a second. Wow. And we got a, we got a male one as well, which is great. Oh, it's a 180. Uh, okay. Wait, is that normal? Like, is it normal to, to come out as like a, one of the parent levels i don't know maybe it's supposed to be just my normal wild max level i don't exactly know um yeah kind of disappointed i thought it would come out as like maybe like a 270 huh it's okay though i mean like it's still pretty cool we got a normal looking one though which is great i love that uh let's go ahead and just get you on follow little man come here come on i hope that it does some of the eating animations that would be fantastic oh yes look at you damn dude so i Okay, little, little, can you stop? Why would you do that? <laughs> yeah, so uh, we, we got this little dude. Um, obviously, you know, I guess if you tame them out in the wild, you can get them as like a higher level, which is nice. But yeah, I don't know. I'm still somewhat disappointed that it's going to be a lower level than the one that it took to tame. But I guess that makes the tame a little bit more worthwhile because obviously it's going to be a lot harder to actually tame one. I mean, you guys saw what happened to me. I don't know if it's woken up that many times for everybody. I have no idea. I'm very excited to hear what all my buddies are, are getting into. I hope that it happens more to some of them just so they know my pain. But um, yeah, this thing's awesome looking. All right, let's see. Um, We got to feed you soon. Uh, You know what? We got a little bit of food right here. There you go, little guy. Nice. Oh, oh, he's got a little pig. Oh, oh my God. Look at that. Oh, that's so cool. He does like. <laughs> oh, that is that is beyond amazing right there. I, I didn't think it would do that as an actual baby, but the fact that it does is just fantastic. That's awesome. Okay, so I'm just going to sit here and watch it. If it wants to do that again, that would be great. I, I've heard that there's a couple more animations, but maybe it's locked to the Um, I think it might be locked to the stance. I'm not sure, so I'm just gonna sit here and watch. This thing's awesome, though. Uh, so we will be imprinting this thing, of course. Um, it's already like six, almost seven percent uh, raised up, so probably just a couple imprints on it. But um, yeah. Oh, and also, uh, what should I name this thing? Oh, it's doing another pego. Oh my god, <laughs> that's so awesome. I love the way it just plays with its food, dude. That's fantastic. That is so cool. I mean, like. I love that. I, I truly do. That's such a unique little thing to just add in. I mean, yesterday in, in the video, I thought that I was like actually experiencing like a full on just like random Pego spawning in experience because like it just appeared beside me and then he just started doing his thing. So I don't know, like the fact that it just happened to me and I thought that it was a real Pego. I, I don't know. It just kind of immerses me a little bit more. I love this. He is bouncing up and down a little bit. 
Oh man, we are kind of running low on the lamb chops here. Hmm. We're gonna need some more of that soon. And here we go. Any cool animation? Uh, no? Mm, that's surprising. Okay. Oh man, it might be a tight squeeze in the second imprint. I might have to use a nanny for that. All right, well, Evo's got a nanny in here. I'm not really gonna look around just because he's got a lot going on in here. Uh, but yeah, it, it's, um, it should be imprinting. Yeah, there it goes. Nice. It has the little like fist bumpy kind of thing. That's the nanny working. We've got the Indoraptor all grown up now. Let me take a little look at you. <sighs> So awesome looking. All right, so uh, stats wise, it is very much in need of a heal. I'm guessing there's probably no meat around here. Or maybe there is because it's full of food. I don't know. I can use my snow owl to heal it though. But um, yeah, stats wise, it's honestly kind of come out like a little bit better than my other one. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Immediately when I took this one out, the freaking pago appeared. That's amazing. Uh, yeah, so this one here came out with, um, yeah, like 9,000 health and I pumped one level in and it was a terrible amount. Obviously, if you're looking for a more tanky creature, you want to probably go for the, uh, the the genetically engineered one. But as you can see over here, like the stamina and damage and everything is a lot better. So probably what we could do here is uh, go ahead and just breed them, which I'm assuming is possible because it doesn't say that they're not breedable. Hang on. Let me see. Let me just see if it's possible to actually breed these two together. Oh, it is. Yeah, no, they can actually breed together. That's awesome. All right, cool. Well, I guess, I mean for the next episode or whenever we'll probably have like a combination of these two stats so um yeah you know it's basically pretty much all of these stats right here because i would imagine that this one over here probably doesn't have anything better but um yeah it would just be all these stats just imprinted essentially so a much more powerful one and i want it to look like this i do like this one here and in the lore obviously this one kind of makes sense as well but um yeah this one over here is much nicer also, those idle animations together, they just work so well. I love it, except for when they intersect into each other. That's awesome. Like right there, that's an amazing screenshot. Damn, awesome. Uh, oh, we got an egg, a sweet. So I guess this is, you know, this is pretty much how it works. You, you go ahead and, and get yourself one tamed and then maybe genetically uh, engineer the other one. And then you go ahead and just breed them and you don't have to do either of those things again. So yeah, I think, um, I don't know. Oh, I almost ate that. Oh my God, what the hell's wrong with me? I think maybe I'll uh, I'll hatch that up at another stage. I do want to test out this one a little bit and just see if it's much better, but we do need to heal it. Oh, you know what? Actually, we can also just put you into your rest mode to uh, ooh, what the hell to go ahead and um and speed things up. So just rest it essentially, and then also uh, heal it with the snow owl. Should be healed like super quick. All right, so I think it might actually have reduced fall damage now, but I'm not sure. Let me just see. Please don't take a bunch. Oh, okay. It still has not been fixed. That's okay. Oh my god. All right. Well, we have a little bit of extra speed now, which is nice. That's definitely appreciated. I love the little bit of extra speed that comes from an imprint. It almost makes imprints worth it just for that. That's awesome, though. I, I, oh my god. This this thing is so well made. I absolutely love it. All right. Let me let me see. How much damage do we do? Probably not as much. Eh, yeah. Not as much, unfortunately. Obviously, once we get the other one hatched up, well, I mean, maybe not that one specifically, but, you know, a bunch of them until we can get all the best stats from the, the one that we tamed, which still, by the way, isn't even that good. If we can get that, then we can have a really powerful Indoraptor to run around on. I don't know if I want to actually try to tame any more of them or maybe just try and genetically get some more. I don't really know, but maybe what we can do is just kind of use the stats that we have and do some mutations which probably doesn't actually give us any um any uh what is it called like colors or anything like that any color region changes let me actually just quickly see does it have any yeah it doesn't i don't know if it would be possible to even get colors on them because they're like that it might be kind of like the unicorn where you can get mutations it just won't car carry any like color variations which is, you know it's still a mutation it's just like a little bit harder to see and, and tell that the creature is mutated anyway so yeah let's uh let's talk a little bit about this dude because i made a little bit of a mistake in the last episode but blame me for just uh for having to spend absolutely ages trying to actually knock out one of these guys and then just my eyes were ruined i guess so when you're biting like this stationary i bit once and as you can see it hit twice so that's that's how that whole thing worked i completely messed up on that but a lot of you guys spotted it and uh there was tons of comments down below saying that so that's one thing um all right let's see what else can we do wait hang on am i doing slightly less damage now i feel like we kind of are maybe they were alpha boosted i'm not really sure we should be able to kill this alpha right let me do oh it's not that one. Oh wait no it's uh, hang on <laughs> wait was i oh i was in quadrupedal mode that's why all right let me let me get in here i wanted to do this 
do their little uh, claw attack so we can essentially um, get that little bit of extra bleed in on top. Hopefully kill this alpha a little bit quicker. Let me see. Can I pounce him, I wonder? Let me see. X. <gasps> oh, whoa, you can pounce alphas? Dude, that's OP. Oh my God. Oh, those animations are nice. I like the clawing. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's that's dope. All right, um, I did not realize that we'd be able to do this to an alpha, but that makes this thing way more impressive. Damn. All right, let me see. So we should be doing the normal amount of damage here. I didn't realize I was in quadrupedal mode. Kind of hard to like remember sometimes. <laughs> All right, let's see. Come on, bro. Come on. He's almost dead. And any second now? Yes. Awesome. All right. I think I'm just going to pump all these points into, um, I mean, okay. I can waste one level and just see. Uh, yeah, still terrible. 72. So not, not worth it at all. Uh, let's just pump them straight into the melee. Do we have? Okay, yeah, there we go. I was about to say, do we have all the points from the uh, from the Alpha Raptor? But there we go. Is my thing working? No, it is not. I have like a little macro and it keeps stopping for some reason. I got to fix that. But anyway, yeah, we have a lot of extra damage now. Let me see how much damage can we actually do. Uh, obviously, the, the high ended on pack's not going to be a great um, indicator. There we go. Let me go hit this horse or maybe the power sword instead. Something like this. Here we go. Boom. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's some good damage. And for standing still, we're doing the double hit as well, which is great. Damn. Yeah. No, these things are an absolute beast. Yeah. We uh, we really need to. Um... Oh, I just realized. Hang on. Oh, yeah. Actually, you know what? Here. Let me, let me show you something. Is it fixed? Yeah. I don't know what this was, but for some reason I noticed that the armor had gotten stronger and then I chucked it out one more time and it went to 300 and now it's just stuck at 300. It's not changing at all. So I don't exactly know. What is your armor at? Your armor is at 196. Let me chuck you away and then chuck you back out real quick. See if that changes at all. I don't know what was happening. Yeah, look, it's stronger. What the hell? Okay. Let me chuck you out a couple more times. Let's just keep upgrading that. It's still, let me see. It's 229. Still at 229. Maybe that's capped. I don't know. But like that did get, I mean, it got more armor somehow. I don't, I don't understand. Cool. All right. Well, anyway, that's the thing. I don't know what did that. Like, is it the amount of use that I'm doing? Like, I, I, I have no idea. I don't understand it, but it's a thing. So I guess chuck it out a couple times and it might get higher or something. <laughs> I have no idea. That's so confusing. All right. Let me go see if I can pounce on top of this uh, Ceratosaurus over here. Got to get into the other mode. Oh, crap. I still have my my freaking admin gun. Or not admin. What am I saying? It went. It said admin mode because it's my soul gun in my hands, bugged out on top of my mount. Yeah, anyway. My admin gun. What the hell's wrong with me? All right, let's see. Boom. No, nope, cannot pounce on them. That's okay, though. We should be able to kill the Ceratosaurus, though, which looks amazing, actually. I kind of regret. We're going to regret killing this. It's a 108. Okay, never mind. Nice. Um. All right, let's see. Let me kill this Moss Chops as well. Oh my god. All right, let me uh, let me see. What else do we have around here? Do we have anything like a big threat or something? I mean, I'd say if we had a slightly stronger version, we might be able to take out like an Alpha T-Rex. Just considering the fact that we have that bleed, we could use that a little bit at the start and then, uh, you know, finish it off with actual claw attacks and stuff so we get the kill properly. But yeah, I don't know, man. Like these these things could probably take out something that big considering the uh, the armor value that we're getting as well. I mean... I should be able to tank a huge amount of damage. That was a 162. Oops. Uh, there's also another really cool looking Ceratosaurus over there. It's kind of like purpley a little bit, I think. Nice. We're getting that double hit in as well, which is great. Oh my God. Yeah. These things are great. And this is dope. <laughs> and this is only a 180 as well. We can get even more powerful. Hello. Come on, bro. All right, let me get a little claw attack in. I like that. That's cool. <laughs> and it's dead. Nice. All right. How many more levels do we get? Not very many. That's okay, though. Let's go ahead and just grab these things. Sweet. Oh, my God. Yeah. I really like this. Like, the Indoraptor has just been something that I've really... I've wanted, like, a, a well-made mod for it. Like, there's been mods before, and I've checked them out, and, you know, they all kind of incorporate the whole sleeping thing, which is great. But I've never seen something that looked this good, so I'm super happy about this. Seriously. Absolutely fantastic job. So, yeah. Anyway. um, Let's see. What else can we do with you? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to get into some trouble, really. I love how graceful we're just like running around and like jumping and stuff. It doesn't make noise for some reason. That's okay, though, but I don't know. It's just, <laughs> it's just so graceful. Nice. All right, let me take out some Diplos here. I'm kind of curious. Can I pounce on one of these power stores? Let's see. Uh, no, you're a little bit too big. Okay, so yeah, kind of hit the cap there. Definitely a tiger, though. Yes. Oh, my God. Absolutely ruined. Homotherium. 
All right, let me get these Diplos killed. Come on, nice. And then you as well. So I think um, what I'll probably do maybe like between episodes is just trying to make a slightly better Indoraptor with all of these colors, of course, as well. Um, I don't know if the guys are gonna actually end up taming them because like they are a real big pain to tame. But uh, if they do and we get some better stats, or I guess they get some better stats or something like that, we can combine them all and uh, and just try to make an absolute killer pack of Indoraptors. That could be absolutely fantastic. I got to test one thing out, actually. Do they get... Yeah, look at that. <laughs> when you hit the right click on that, that's what happens. That's what happened earlier. Uh, when you get the male and the female... Oh, they do! Oh, my God. Wait, hang on. Follow me. Let me go see how much damage we do now. We get the, um, the mate boost. Oh, look at you. <laughs> so crazy all right let me let me wait for you to catch up you're here nice okay that's even better oh he's pissed what are you doing oh he's doing this little echolocation nice actually i should be using that a little bit more often but you can't use that in a uh, in bipedal mode you have to be in quadrupedal and then it's x to do that uh oh it didn't seem to work um not sure what happened there uh, i don't really know maybe it missed I don't know if it's like a, is it like a, oh, there we go. Okay. Now it worked that time. Nice. All right. Let me get in here. So one thing about this guy is, uh, I do believe that there's some more abilities being added at some point. Um, he said something about like a Capro kind of jump when you're in quadrupedal mode. So that could be cool. Or I guess more of a lunge. So stuff like that could be amazing. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's already got a lot, like there's a lot of different abilities and stuff. So realistically, I don't think you really need to do much more, but it's still cool to get some extra stuff on top of that. Oh my god, look at that. We're absolutely shredding these guys. And um, we could get into uh, bipedal mode and do a little bit more damage. Here we go. There we go. Nice. Took a little while for some reason. Oh yeah, look at that. Damn, dude. All right. Well, anyway, guys, I think that's probably going to be it for today. Um, probably enough Indoraptor content for, for a couple videos, maybe. Um, <laughs> I should probably finish the video that I was working on before these guys came out because... I still have like something from that video in my inventory and I've had that in, in my inventory for the last two days. So yeah, anyway, guys, if you have enjoyed this one, go ahead, do me a favor, hit the like button. If you want to see more like this, you can of course subscribe and see you in the next one.